three of OTAs underway in Philadelphia with good news and bad news for Eagles fans. The good news, Rodney McLeod is looking good in the secondary. The bad news, he was one of two people to pick off Sam Bradford. According to reporters in attendance, it wasn't really a great day for either Bradford or Carson Wentz, but at least they're getting along. I'm working with Sam, working with Chase. We got an awesome quarterback room. A lot of you know really good discussions uh, about the playbook, about about life. Um, it's been great. And then on the practice field, they've been great for me. We've had a really good relationship. So um, nothing but great things to say about both those guys. They're great dudes. I mean, we actually we have a really good room. Um, you know, having Chase in the room, I think for me and Carson both has been great. Just because you know he's been in this system um, for what three this is his fourth year in the system and then obviously Carson you know he's been great you know he's a great kid you know he's really talented you know it's been fun working with him trying to help him um you know just trying to share bits of information that I've picked up along the way not an ideal situation for any of these guys really but they sound like they're handling it well joining us now a guy who has been in a similar situation before in fact a couple of times in New York and in Arizona Kurt Warner you heard what they're saying publicly what is this really like for them? Well, I tell you what, Lindsay, this is really interesting when you talk about this room. You got one guy that's supposed to be the starter that you paid a lot of money to. There's another guy that's a young guy that you expect to be the future of the franchise. But then the guy that's in between those two is probably the guy that knows the offense better than anybody. So very interesting room. Um, you know, I think they're saying all the right things right now. I think the real uh, test will be, when we get into a competitive situation and they're competing to start for this football team, is it all, you know, smiles and, and patting each other on the back? Or when does it get competitive? Because you know, the hard part is, uh, and you heard Sam Bradford talk about, you know, sharing some of those little things that I've learned over the years. The hard part is when you start getting into a competition, uh, you deal with, you know, that little guy on each shoulder that says, okay, tell them everything you need to tell them and, and get them ready so they can be the best player. And then on your other shoulder, it's like, well, don't give them all your secrets because you don't want them to use that against you when it comes time to compete. And so that's the thing that these guys are going to deal with. And hopefully knowing a guy like Sam Bradford, great young man. I don't know about Carson, but I've heard some tremendous things about him. Hopefully it's, hey, we're all going into this together. We want to have the best quarterback on the field. We're going to share everything we possibly can, and then we're going to let it fall as it may. Whoever the best quarterback is, we want on the football field. But uh, that's easier said than done when it comes competition time. How did you handle that? Well, I mean, for me, I always felt that I didn't want to hold anything back. You know, whether I was with Eli or Mark Bolger or Matt Leinart, I always said to myself, I want to beat out the best possible quarterback that's in the room with me. So when it was a young guy, it was like, I want to share all the information because A, I want them to become the best quarterback they can be. And B, when we go out to compete, I want to be able to say, hey, I gave him every bit of information I could, tried to make him the best that I could, and was still the better quarterback. That, to me, was what competition was all about. And if the guy had all the secrets and he beat me out, then I always felt he deserved to, to have that spot and to win the job. So um, I looked at it from two standpoints. I was a team player first. I signed on to be the best player I could be and the best teammate I could be. But at the same time, I was going to compete every time I stepped on the football field and wanted to win every competition.